Good day folks, today we're going to be taking a look at a mount for your GoPro or any action camera for that matter. This mount is compatible with any type of camera that utilizes the GoPro finger mount system. This is called the snap mount and I think every GoPro kit should have one. So let's just jump right in and take a closer look. Now I must apologize, before I start this video, I've actually had this mount for quite some time. Uh, it was sent to me back in the late summer, early fall I believe. And I've just been so busy I just haven't got around to uh, doing a review on it yet. Now you've seen this mount in action over the summer and late fall without probably even realizing it. I actually used it quite a bit, in fact uh, there's a few videos where you could actually see it in plain visible sight. Basically what this is, is a quick release mount system for your GoPro. But it is much more than just a quick release system, this thing can work as a tripod, a magnet mount for your car or any metal surface. You can wear this thing like a chest mount which I did use quite a bit this summer. Let's take a quick look here at how it works. I'm going to go ahead and get my Hero 9 Black mounted in it. So here we go. You can see I have it mounted. This bottom plate here has magnets built into it. When we have it folded up tight to the GoPro, you can see we still have full access to our touch screen. In its simplest form, just like this, you can see it works just as a tabletop tripod. You can move it around from spot to spot quickly and you don't have to add or carry around any bulky attachments. Because of the built-in magnets, you can attach it to anything that's magnetic, including your car. Now, Snap Mount has thought ahead if you are going to be using this to connect to a vehicle. They have a little mat that fits underneath it so that way if you do connect it to your car it's going to protect your paint. You can purchase it as a separate accessory or it does come in their pro kit. Now the only downfall to using this as a car mount, some cars are kind of limited to how you can connect it. For example my Jeep Renegade has an aluminum hood, I believe it's aluminum, but the magnet won't stick to the hood. I can do it to the side of the car, the front of the car, the roof, but just not directly on the hood. As you can see here, it doesn't stick to the hood of my car. Anywhere else, however, it sticks great. And it's on there, nice and secure. Those few little tasks makes this an impressive little mount. It makes it definitely worthwhile. But that's kind of just the beginning of what this thing can do. You can see here we have an extra mounting plate. And what you can do with these are mount them to your accessories. And as you can see, they connect together. So you can mount these plates to the gear you use on a regular basis and you can transfer your GoPro from one mount to another very easily. So for example, say you have this mounted on your vehicle, you're doing some moto vlogging and then you pull over and you want to grab some handheld shots. It's as simple as adding it to a handle just like that. You can then pull it off, mount it to a tripod with another adapter and then maybe perhaps grab a time lapse. And the connection is really strong, I can't emphasize that enough. You don't ever have to worry about your GoPro coming loose. In fact, that connection is so strong, you do have to watch your fingers. I've already had my skin pinched in there, and uh, that's something you do want to avoid. Now, when you go to the Snap Mount website, they have a couple different kits available for purchase. They have a Pro Kit that comes with two of these spare plates, and you can purchase more separately. So if you've got three or four devices you want to connect one to, you can do so quite easily and never have to worry about messing around with thumb screws again. Now, another component that comes with the kit is this back plate here. It's similar to the plate that has the finger mount on it, but you can see here there is no finger mount on this one. But there is a spot there for a lanyard. You can utilize this mount in many different ways. You can mount your GoPro to a backpack. You have this on the inside and then you attach your GoPro on the outside. If you have a thin enough shoulder strap, you can actually mount this behind the shoulder strap. And now you can mount your GoPro right on your shoulder strap. However, a really good way to use this is using it similar to a chest mount. You can put this under a shirt and then mount your GoPro on your chest. You can put it on the front of you, the back of you, if you want to grab, say, a hyperlapse. It's just a nice convenient way to attach a GoPro to your body without wearing a chest mount. Chest mounts are great, but uh, sometimes they're not very practical. And depending where you are and what you're filming, you don't want to maybe perhaps wear one all day. You can wear this thing like a necklace under a shirt. You can use this clip here to adjust the height at which it hangs. And whenever you want to grab some chest mount style shots, you just attach it and away you go. Now a chest mount works well because there's a lot of tension there. It holds the GoPro steady. When you use something like this, the camera will move around a little bit. But with hyper smooth stabilization on the Hero 8 Black, the Hero 9 Black, and of course now with Horizon leveling, you don't even know that it's not on a traditional chest mount. So I'm filming now with the GoPro attached to my chest. I can move around and as you can see, everything stays nice and stable with Horizon leveling on. So you don't really need a chest mount to keep everything stable. And it's just easy on, easy off. If you need your GoPro on another mount, you can just clip it on quite easy. Let's go ahead and we'll take a look at what a hyperlapse look like when we have it mounted on just the front of our shirt using a magnetic back plate.
like I mentioned, a lot of the shots you've seen in some of my videos over the fall, where I was filming drones or doing different things, that was all captured using this mount attached to a shirt or a jacket. It actually works quite well. With the holiday season coming up, it makes a great little gift. If you have anybody on your shopping list that is a GoPro enthusiast, definitely a mount system like this would make a great gift. Well, folks, that's basically it for my video. Again, this is the Snap Mount. They are not available on Amazon as of right now. You do have to purchase them directly from the Snap Mount website, which is snapmount.com. I'll include a link to it down in the description of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.